your nights and your days. I told you. There is an epidemic sneaking up on America that almost nobody is talking about. It could be worse than obesity. It could be worse than vehicular accidents. It could even be worse than some of our biggest diseases like cancer. How could that be? What is it? Well, this epidemic could affect almost 80% of Americans. And this epidemic causes a lot of those other epidemics. And it's so simple, you won't even believe me. What is it? This epidemic is sleepily, sim simply a lack of sleep. Right now, 25% of Americans have a diagnosable sleep disorder. The fourth leading cause of vehicular accidents is due to falling asleep behind the wheel, and that's ahead of drinking and driving. In a recent study, 80% of Americans said they could benefit from an extra hour of sleep per night. But in that same study, when they were asked, if we gave you an extra hour, like a 25th hour in the day, what would you do with it? Only 20% said they would sleep. And maybe the worst stat of all is that 61% of Americans crave sleep more than they crave sex. What are we coming to? <laughs> <laughs> what these stats show is that we as Americans are not putting sleep as a priority in our lives. You might be asking yourself, well, why is this happening now? I mean, I mean, humans have been around for thousands of years. Why is this all of a sudden becoming an epidemic now? Well, electricity has only been around for about 150 years. And before electricity, it wasn't safe to go roaming around in the middle of the night. Literally, there were wild animals that would attack you. But that's not the way it is today. I mean, we have TV, we have computers, we have lights, we have cities like Vegas and New York that literally stay up all night. There are so many temptations for us to stay up late at night that the average amount of sleep that we get is shrinking every single year. Now, there are solutions, pretty simple. The first is simply being aware, understanding how much sleep you need and how much sleep you're getting and how your sleep does affect your days. Okay? The second thing is, is commitment. Committing to making sleep a priority. And then the third is actually taking action, changing some of your behaviors to make sure that you get the sleep that you need. Now, you guys heard during my intro that I have been in the mattress industry for 15 years. But I've never looked at it like I was selling mattresses. I've always looked at it like I've been, that I sell sleep. I give people a better night's sleep. I've always studied it. I've actually even coached a lot of my friends who are lousy sleepers and helped them become better sleepers. <laughs> so tonight, I'm gonna, I picked out a handful of, of things that I want to teach you guys. And I'm going to go over them right now. Please, I don't want you taking notes, though. But what I do want you to do is I want you to pick out just one. One thing that I go over tonight, and I want you to commit to doing that one thing for the next 30 days, and then to see how it affects your night's sleep. The first thing I want to talk about is sleeping aids, because the drug business is a billion-dollar company. And I'm just going to flat out say it right now. Sleeping pills do not work. Now, I know what you're thinking. We've all taken Tylenol PM or NyQuil, and sure, it knocks you out, and you sleep for the whole night. But here's what happens. When you're in a drug-induced um, sleep, you do not get the regenerative deep sleep that you need. And you actually wake up with what we call a sleep hangover. So you've slept for eight hours, but you wake up, and you're still kind of tired. The next day, you're exhausted. By the time the night comes, guess what you're ready to do? You're ready to take more pills, and it's a, it's a cycle. So I always advise people, stick with the natural herbs. They go great in tea. You can have them for, you know, before bedtime. Stay away from the pills. Your sleep environment. You want your room to be slightly cooler than what we usually refer to as room temperature, so down in the 60s. 
you want your room extremely dark, as black as you can, even covering up the lights from the, your digital clock. And the reason is that our bodies, our skin actually has sensors and it can sense light. And when it senses light, it actually starts producing a hormone that makes you want to wake up. And that's so that we wake up when the sunlight comes up, but you don't want to, you don't want to produce those hormones in the middle of the night. And lastly, your bed is for sleep and sex only. Leave the laptop out. Don't watch TV in bed. The reason is that you want a clear association between your bed and sleep. And that's it. When you go to bed, your body knows it's time to go to sleep. You don't want it to associate your bed with things that keep you awake, watching movies, playing on your computer. I'm going to give you guys some sleep curfews, okay? No blue light one hour before bed. That, I'm referring to screens, computer screens, video games, iPads, TV. That blue light does the same thing. It triggers your body to think it should be waking up, not going to sleep. Read a book, do a crossword puzzle. Caffeine can stay in your system for as long as six to 12 hours. So no caffeine after early afternoon. And then lastly, no food or alcohol 90 minutes before bedtime. There are literally hundreds of things you can do. I just wanted to share a handful with you tonight. And I want to leave you guys with one last thought. The next time you're driving down the road and someone cuts you off and you have a <coughs> fit of road rage, I want you to think about your sleep last night. And the next time you snap at one of your friends or your loved ones because you're in a grouchy mood, I want you to think about your sleep last night. And the next time you're falling asleep in a meeting after lunch and your boss is like glaring at you, I want you to think about your sleep last night. And I want you to think about that your nights do affect your days. And you have the power to change it. It just takes awareness, commitment, and action. Thank you, and sleep tight.